know, the reality of it is uh, that stretch was a very painful period for our fans, for the city, and for every, everybody internally in the organization. Um, you know, I can assure you that, that all of us that were there during that time period, we were um, equally disappointed with the results during that time. Uh, now, the one thing I can say is that the team, the organization, it's at a much different state than it was heading into that 2016 season, whether it's the foundation of the roster, um, you know, the overall strategy. It's no secret that, you know, the strategy at the time was um, to accumulate assets, whether it's cap space, picks, and, and players that would lead to a foundation of long-term success. You know, but I can assure you that, um, you know, winning is at the forefront of everyone's minds in the organization, um, and we're looking forward to, uh, you know, pursuing that over the next several months. Winning is always important. Winning was important then. Um, it's important now. It will always be important. Um, the strategy, the state of the team was at a, at a much different state, and, and certainly accumulating resources, accumulating assets, that was um, you know, certainly part of the approach. But winning was also, winning was also still a focus, and as I mentioned earlier, um, we were all internally disappointed with the, re with the results during that time period. It's obvious that we would try to compare when Andrew was here versus now, but to me it's a totally different situation. Um, I mean, let's start with we didn't have a quarterback then, we have a quarterback now, and that, that, that just means a world of difference. We didn't have the good core group of young players that we have now, so we're in a much different situation than we were then. Andrew was responsible for picking some of those players, i.e. Miles Baker, et cetera, that Denzel, that formed the core of our team. Um, I think we have a really good head coach in Kevin Stefanski, and like I've said numerous times, and you all probably get here tired of saying it, just the way this group will work together, and we had a day and a half off-site meeting Monday afternoon, night, and all day yesterday, uh, will be distinctly different than before. So high degree of confidence. Obviously, Kevin and Andrew are both young. They'll have bumps in the road. NFL is hard, as you all know, but high degree of confidence. We have the right people in place. You know, with Andrew Berry, you know what I was thinking? He's talking about when he was here, they were 1-31 in 2016. And what I'm thinking of, they're 1-31 in that year. At the same time, the Indians are in the World Series Game 7 against the Cubs, 2016, and the Cavaliers are winning it all with LeBron James. What, what yeah. a combination of good and bad in Cleveland sports. And you had mentioned, too, that it's, I guess you could say, rare because it's never happened that a guy who was associated with 1-31 in returns to that franchise in as one the year. general manager. In one year. But again, I'm clean slating it. There's no <laughs> papers here with not that don't have numbers on it. But I, well, those I'm are clean Buckshaw's slating grading. it. Yeah, I, I don't need to hear any more from Jimmy Haslam. To be quite honest, I I would love to see him disappear for a long time uh, from the quoted word because what is he going to say? No, I what's he going to say until they win? I, games? I think what he needs to do is have some self understanding that. People are not buying into what he's saying. They're, they're Browns fans. They're always going to be Browns fans. But for him to guarantee something, like I guarantee we'll have more uh, communication or alignment or whatever else, uh, that may be. But the reality is he gets pretty tired of losing quickly. And in a year, he's blowing it off and starting anew. And every time you do that, forget the money that it costs, him, which is considerable. You're not just paying the head coach. You're paying staffs. You're paying a lot of different people and uh, bringing in new players and so on. Uh, but I'm not sure people have the faith in him that they'd like to have. They, they'll, they'll come running back when it's time to do that, but I don't think they like what they see. Agreed. I know they don't like what they see, uh, what they have seen under Haslam, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm, I'm glad the press conferences, by and large, uh, for the big boys are over, and we can just look forward to uh, first the combine and then the draft. Well, the way the NFL spreads it out, the year is in almost no time. Right. And, and, I mean, and I used to sort of moan about it, but I love the NFL now so much that I like that it's a seven or a twelve-month season or a twelve-month year, really. And um, yeah, next up is the the combine, and and that'll be great. And then I don't think mini camps come before the draft. Yeah, they come no. after. So, All right, how would you like?